The Hyderabad Bijapur corridor covering 118 kilometers is recognized for a significant reduction in road accidents as featured in road safety good practices in India report by Ministry of Road Transport. Collaborating with the Save Life Foundation and the World Bank, the study cites a 38.1% decrease in crash severity from 2014 to 2018, attributing it to 4E interventions. Engineering, Enforcement, Education and Emergency Services Investments of Rs 29.79 crore, a convergent approach and measures like widened instructions, increased enforcement and enhanced medical care contributed to the corridor's improved safety. Teachers and students at a primary school in Pedapet village, Dandepali, cultivate organic vegetables in a school garden without harmful pesticides or fertilizers. With infrastructure improvements under the Manavuru Manapadi scheme, including a compound wall and bore well, the school produces 2 kg of vegetables daily. The harvest is used to midday meals, supporting the Chief Minister's breakfast scheme for 52 students. The school's transformation cost Rs 22.80 lakh, with headmistress B. Srilatha contributing Rs 2 lakh for additional amenities. Resulting in increased school strength from 22 in 2018 to 52 in 2023. The Election Commission of India has lifted the suspension of former Telangana DGP Anjani Kumar. Initially suspended on December 3rd for violating the model code of conduct by meeting TPCC Chief Ravant Reddy during vote counting, Anjani Kumar stated it was to discuss a swearing in arrangements. The ECI, however, viewed it seriously, directing the state government to suspend him. The decision to revoke the suspension follows Anjani Kumar's clarification. The Prajavani program began at Jyoti Rao Pule Prajabhavan, Greenlands, but individuals arriving after the designated 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. window are not allowed entry. The state government renamed the program Prajadar Bar, initiated by Chief Minister A. Ravant Reddy. Forest Minister Konda Surekha overseeing in the CM's absence. Receives applications from attendees who queued before 10 a.m. Those arriving afterward are directed to return on Friday. Notably, a substantial number of people, including Banut Tirupati, sought assistance with an estimated 800 attendees during the program today. BRS MLC K Kavita expressed concern over the declining women's safety in Karnataka particularly citing the recent incident in Belagavi where a woman was stripped as a consequence of her son's actions. She emphasized the need to focus on women's safety and questioned the state of law and order in Karnataka, highlighting the alarming conditions, especially in Bengaluru, which tops the charts for acid attacks. Kavita urged the government to provide genuine guarantees for women's safety, security and accountability.